there is something very wrong and very misguided about all the excuses first world countries make for native people killing of cetaceans, whales. This true of the legal killing of whales and whales, dolphins and cetaceans under cetaceans. The majority comes from Iceland, um, Japan and Norway, but also a large percentage of this, actually around 66% of the Cetacean extermination in this town is done by the uh, tribal people. Like the tribal folk of the Feral Islands, along with Eskimos, raw flesh eaters, along with other native scum who thinks their traditions are more important than the life of the earth, and how don't can understand how other people can be offended by their traditions. Cetaceans are far more important than tribal people, tribal illegal people. Why should groups like the Eskimos, who are not born with fur, have not the tools have no sharp claws, have no sharp teeth to hunt ice bears and whales allowed to live there when they are physiological and prove that they are actually should live in warmer climates. And yes, those people are also unhealthy. The effort lifespan of one raw fish eater, an Eskimo, is around 45. That's not something to be proud of. You will find rarely an Eskimo over the age of 50. Because then they have already died. They have also higher osteoporosis rates than the Canadian population. And even the American population. Their breast milk of their woman is so toxic because of the blowers they eat, that, and also because of the polluted oceans. That it is actually the most polluted breast milk of all hominids on this planet. By the way, that's the name I call your species. If you want to know why I don't call you humans, it is because human is an is not an appropriate word for our species. It have one etymology root and historical root with the word in that both come from the Latin word humanus, which means with kindness, which means gentleness which means civilized. There's nothing civilized about slicing other living beings in parties. No hominid group on this time and age can use the excuse that they have to eat animals to survive. If we can place a man on the moon and design a computer that can play chess, along with other technological advances like nuclear fission, and if we can fat 60 
to 70 billion plant animals. Then with absolute charity we can feed just 1.8 billion hominid naked apes. It is not a brainer. If they want to claim that they have the right to hunt for sustenance and their use and take part in some Western inventions like uh, using guns, or for example, in uh, electricity, and at the same time uh, wants to have uh, special treatments, then are, are, are actually can be accountable to be accountable for upholding unfair and uncivilized traditions, and can then we can take their rights away. And this is not racist. Because when uh, Japanese kill whales, then the whole world is outrageous. But when the pharaohs of Iceland uh, do it, or some other tribal people, then all of a sudden it is uh, okay. Because uh, fuck um, logic, or something like that. Why not focusing on all problems? Stop saying that. Hominid life is more important than the life of whales. Stop saying that hominid life is more important than the life of gorillas or elephants or rhinos or whatever. So ironically called human rights was a very bad idea. It's like only giving Aryans rights. Or just only giving um, extremely high intelligent people rights. Or just only giving black people rights. By the way, the word people comes from the word persona, and that means an actor's mask in Latin. So when you say that you are a person, you actually say you are an actor. You say you're playing a facade, a role, a part in one act. And that's what makes society so asinine. For the man, how is worth something? But make it very enjoyable for the blog ad and for the full. Repeating, satining comedy. That's as I. And the home knit naked rays. I call myself so ironically Homo sapiens. How more ironic can it be? Specifically, since Homo sapien means the wise man. The wise hominid. It is better to call yourself Homo ridiculous, which means the fool. Or superbia, which means the blind crowd. Deadly sin. Upgrade. Gelatin. And if you then say that wills another. Such animals kill other animals, why is it then not okay for tribal people? Now, here's a good reason. People who live in the Amazon can uh, search for fruit. You live in a rainforest. Then you can also find berries instead of eating worms and uh, monkeys, etc. You can eat the fruit that live that grows there in the rainforest. So, and we don't need it to survive. In contrary, uh, with lions. In contrary, uh, with whales. Ah, that's what species how eats fish. In contrary, with sharks and dolphins. I play actually a far more important role in the ecosystem. Demons. Without whales, most to all phytoplankton will disappear. Phytoplankton produce 70% of all the oxygen on the earth. Conservative estimate. Also, without phytoplankton, so as you can understand, you will not have life. 
Without tribal people, you will lie. Without tribal people, the forest will not worsen. Without bills, the forest will also be be affected by it because there will be less diversity in life forms in the rainforest. And by the way, the rainforests do belong to the animals that live there. It does not belong to the tribal people. It does not belong to the industrial countries. It belongs to the gorillas. If they live gorillas, the chimps, the savannas belong to the elephants. This whole planet belongs to the animals. We are just a bunch of arrogant naked apes I'll claim the whole world belong to us. And we make illusions and fables up how we call laws to protect our self-entitlement. The three laws of equality are there must be a diversity in life forms in a species specific habitat. Oh animals are interdependent on each other, which out some others will also very much be negative effect. There's a limited and finite resources. That means a limited in grow, that means a limited in greed. That means this loss together, that we have to stop be so arrogant, that we are thinking that our life of our species or of ourselves is more important than anything else on this planet. That mindset is quite frankly a fucked up. Without bees and all the pollinators, around 70% to 80% of all the foods in the grocery store will not be there. Also, a large percentage of the flowers will not grow. You don't want to live in a world without pollinators, people. The whole ecosystem will be extremely negative affected by it. Just like you don't want to live in a world without whales and elephants and all other large mammals. We have to have more diversity in world life animals. And we have to stop enforcing and impregnating cows, pigs, and other animals for our beneficiary greed. For our own ego. For our own malice. And apathy. On the moment, only 2% of the world's bio mass is wild animals and around 98 is homo superbia and the animals he enslaves for food we have to turn that back around like it was around 10,000 years ago we should not live in societies with small areas of nature in it we should live in large wilderness areas with small communities of homo superbia inside. Communication systems can link to communities. When darkness and light become dark, the reality is split away. And the truth becomes. I hope you liked this video. Forget not to like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos.